Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're getting a lot of calls from people who are saying, where do I start? I've got a lot of issues regarding technology, either in, as an individual or as a business, and where do you start? So we've got a great topic today. It's called the basics. And Ray Appy is here to talk about the basics. the basics. How many people ask you about the basics? Not too many. I know. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We've moved beyond. <laughs> Ray, before we, we, we start there, I just want to give a shout out to the uh, person who called me about last week's topic, collaboration technology. And, you know, we were talking about how to interface with all big meetings and all these other things. The person was a musician. And he wanted to know if there was a way for him to collaborate with musicians in Europe. I thought that was a great phone That's call. Great. So I sent him over there. I don't know if he called you. <laughs> All right. So the basics. Um, I've been anxious to talk about this. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've, we've talked about it at different times, but um, let's just start with the basics of the basics, the okay. fundamentals. The fundamentals. Yeah. So we start with the network, right? Mm -hmm. We have to think about how do we connect a device to something else, to another device, to the mm -hmm. Internet, to a corporate network, and uh, so you have a, probably have a phone in your pocket that has a cellular connection or a Wi-Fi connection maybe in this building, so you can get onto a network in multiple formats from perhaps your, your mobile device. You may have a laptop. How do you get that laptop connected to something else or your computer? How do you mm -hmm. connect a computer? And so I think you got to think really in terms of two things when it comes to connecting networks. There's a local area network. Think about what's in a building, connecting mm -hmm. devices within that building and then a wide area network. So how can we connect that building to other buildings mm -hmm. or to the internet or whatever the case may be. So we, you know, for example, may have a client who has uh, business locations throughout the United States. So they would have a local area network in each of their local facilities and they'll have a wide area connect, uh, network connecting all of those facilities back to home base, so to speak, into their data centers mm -hmm. and to the internet. And typically we want to see a wide area network uh, backbone collapsed back into one or two locations so that we can control security and control where the data is coming from and also control where they're getting their internet access. And sometimes we might disperse internet access throughout multiple buildings, but mm -hmm. typically we're going to bring that back to a couple places so that we can really uh, layer some good security on those internet connections because that's the connection to the outside world. I got gotcha. you. Um, just to help our viewers here, uh, LAN and WAN are those two terms, LAN like local area network mm -hmm. and wide area network, right. correct? Mm -hmm. And how they interface and whatever is a, right. an important part of developing a strategy or a plan with with, mm -hmm. with a client. Uh, we said this was about the basics. Uh, two ways that your devices can work, wired and wireless. That's There's right. got to be advantages and disadvantages, right? There are. Yeah, okay, absolutely. can we start with wired? Sure, let's start with wired. So wiring is in most buildings today, especially the older ones, and that's one of the first things we do when we work with a client that, that requires a network upgrade. We're going to go in and do an assessment of the existing facility or facilities and find out what they have. Mm -hmm. And usually we find some mix of a wiring in the walls, connecting computers, computers back to a server or to the internet or to whatever their data resources are. And then uh, we may also find a wireless network that's been added in more recent times as an overlay technology uh, for right. more convenience. But two really important things to think about. A wired network, it gives you tremendous uh, security, reliability, and bandwidth. A wireless network, you can get the security if you know what you're doing. Not quite there yet with a bandwidth, but getting close. But what you get with wireless is mobility and flexibility. You can move around, you know, and it's, it's a very convenient yeah, right, technology. Sure. So that's some key differences between wired and wireless. Um, uh, and in terms of wired, like the building we're in here is wired, but we also have a wireless system. Mm -hmm. It uh, And really just for, just for the convenience mm -hmm. factor. Uh, some of these buildings were wired at different times. Uh, don't want to get too technical, but doesn't it have a lot to do with the, the uh, quality of the cabling? Yes, uh, absolutely. Oh, really old okay. cabling. You, you know, I mean, that's one of the things that we do in assessment is find out when we assess a, a client's facilities, find out how old is that infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Our company doesn't actually do cabling, but we will uh, build everything from the cable connections up into the electronics. Yes, right, and, right. And, but uh, if, if cabling is required, we'd bring in a subcontractor, electrical contractor, or a cabling, uh, uh, low-voltage cabling contractor that does that work mm -hmm. if it's needed. But uh, typically you'll find, you know, some of the schools we work in have cabling that's 30 years old. And I in bet. those cases, you know, it does start to actually go bad. It doesn't last forever. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it does need to be replaced after a long period of time. And I think what we're going to see over the next 10 years is less and less cabling. Because we yeah, will be, right. I think we're finally getting to that tipping point where wireless is going to become yeah. the standard. And, it, and if we go in for example, to a client who's maybe starting a new business and it's a smaller business, one of the conversa initial conversations would be, do you just want to make everything wireless? 
Because if you do it that way, you can probably save some money. One of the things to think about is if you're leasing space and you need to put data cabling in, that cabling's in the walls, you're going to spend those capital dollars to put that uh, infrastructure right. into that building. And five years later, when your lease is up, you might move and you're not going to take it with you. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I think we're, at, we're close to that tipping point now between wired and wireless technologies. Boy, I bet, well, I bet you are. You know, you get seduced by wireless. It's mm -hmm. so easy to just take your pad, your phone, your laptop, wherever, mm -hmm. just move from office to office for demonstration purposes, for teleconferencing. Yeah. Um, I got an odd question. Safety issues with wireless. You know, you see people with Bluetooth things in their head all day long. Yeah. Now, now that's an unregulated industry, right? I think so, somewhat, yeah. And I, I share some concerns with that. I don't use a Bluetooth headset myself because mm -hmm. I don't want to have that kind of radio that close to my head. And I don't know if it's okay, and I don't mm -hmm. know if it's not okay. But because I don't know if it's okay, I don't do it. That's a personal decision. But yes, yeah, right. I'd rather have a wire and have the radio be down here on the phone. That's right. Yeah, so. So a uh, company comes to you, uh, let's just recap as we go, uh, they'll come to you and say, you know, I've got certain needs, you know, uh, come in, can you do an assessment? Mm -hmm. So a part of that assessment, is, as we're talking about, is to sort of ascertain what somebody has mm -hmm. and then what they need. Then would you develop a plan from yeah, that? Yeah, we would, we would develop a strategy and a plan, and then yeah, we'd start okay. talking about budgets and, you know, how far do they want to go. But really what it starts with is, is the business requirements. You know, what, is it, what are they trying to accomplish? What is it that we can help do that's going to drive the business? Is, is, this, mm -hmm. being, is this to drive revenue, to cut costs, uh, to support growth, more employees? And typically when it comes to adding, adding network capacity, it's, it's more bandwidth to drive higher bandwidth uh, requiring applications and maybe to add more employees. We need more computers connected to the network. Mm -hmm. A lot of times what we're finding too is uh, we're working with companies that are buying other companies. So now you need to connect different networks together. Oh my There's God. a lot of complexity in wide area networks, especially when you're bringing two mm -hmm. different organizations together. You know, So there's a lot that goes on. But to think about some of the basics, you go from cabling to some sort of a connection. The cable goes from your device to a switch. Mm -hmm. A switch is a device that establishes a connection. A switch is connected to other switches to tie the local area network together. There may be wireless devices also connected to that switch. That's an mm -hmm. overlay technology con for convenience. Well, sure. And then those switches connect to a some kind of a router and security device. And a router connects different networks. It'll do a protocol translation between networks and it'll connect, it's, that's what you use to go across a wide area network typically mm -hmm. is you have some routing involved there and also to get to the internet. It sounds overwhelming at times, but everything you say makes so much sense. You know, you know what that means to, to someone sitting in, in this chair here? Mm -hmm. uh, you get what you pay for. What I mean by that is that, you know, you, there are a lot of people out there claiming to know a lot about technology and the subjects that we're talking about. But when you talk about a company that deals with small business all the way to some of the major, major corporations, you understand that that wealth of knowledge that you have is, is your in, internal network, you know? Yeah. It, it gets to all of the people who are the mm -hmm. people that would interface with us, you know? Uh, yes. I, th I, ju I just think that's terrific. It, maybe to sum it up, you know, it, every company wants to grow. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can grow now is through connectivity. That's right. You know? It's a utility. I mean, that's, that's what right. I call it. I mean, technology and, and networks are, are utility. Right. You really can't do business without it, so. I got it. Well, Ray, thanks. Another Absolutely. Great, another great it's good to be here again. Good, and uh, hope yeah, things go well at home. Yeah, thanks. He's yeah. got a leak in his roof. He's got a leak in my roof. <laughs> we keep getting all this snow, and now I've got ice dams. And every time I come in here, there's another foot of snow outside. I know. Well, we planned that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you. Good. See this interview again? Head to our website, looktvonline.com.